Hello, friend. How are we doing? Oh, my God. My camera's clipping through. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot. Because it's silly. Uh, where's my camera? There it is. Easy fix. How are we doing, friends? Easy money. How are we doing? We're standing. We got a new background. That's cool. I'm standing and talking at the same time. And honestly, this feels so much better. Oh, this is just this feels right, you know. You just get get a little bit of flex in your knees, get a little bit of bounce in your step. Oh, you know we're always in the house. However, so long as we are in the new house, we are going fully digital. <laughs> we are no more analog smoking on stream. It's all digital these days. Oh, yeah, we got some Chubbo games today. <coughs> How you doing? Welcome, Floyd. I'll screw you. I said stay. <coughs> All right. Oh, man. I'm loving this already. And the nice thing is, this is an electric desk. So when I get fat and lazy and tired, I can just hit a button and it... And I'm sitting again. Ah. Uh. I gotta, I gotta do the scoreboard. I could be sitting here doing a thing. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, there we are. Uh, I hate when it does that. I hate Windows sometimes. Windows is the worst. You've heard it here first. From someone who's done IT for way too long. Yeah, someone's done IT for many, many, too many years. Windows is the worst. Uh, all right, what do we got here for players? We got a Titus. We've got Bagel Pirate. We've got Tech. We've got Lamb and Cruzel. Interesting. This is going to be a fun little lineup of games here. Uh I hope you guys are ready. Uh, how's everyone's Tuesday? Uh, I'm enjoying a <laughs> long, long week here, so don't mind me as I slowly get into action. Ah, all right. I think I've worked the kinks out. <laughs> Think I'm ready to talk about some StarCraft. Might as well get right into it. What do we think? You take that as a yes. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Game number one. BSL Chobo, guys. BSL 17. Yeah, I was close. There it is. Guys, right, so I've been doing this now for four seasons. It's wild. It's wild to think about. You know what else is wild? Our game. Spawning here in the top right hand side with the yellow probes. Give it up for a Titus. A Titus? A Titus? Ad Edis? Addy Tus? I don't know. Take a stab in the dark and I'm going to say all of them and you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> and his opponent in the bottom left hand side with the magenta probes. Give it up for our boy. It's Bagel Pirate. Oh, we got. Represent Nom in the house. This is a this is a Nom group for sure. Uh, Bagel Pirate, Lamb, and Tech all in a group. It's like half the group is Nom right there off the bat. Oh yeah, that's a solid start. All right, so PVP guys, um, it's gonna be really fun and interesting, and then it's gonna get wild, right? That's how PVPs tend to go. Is you get this like random just spike up where all of a sudden someone's like, oh, one base carrier. And you're like, oh, well, sure. That's a thing you can do, I guess. So far, both players going for a one gate. See if either of them decide to go for gas or if they're going to go two gates. Uh, 
these guys. I can see it going either way. And it looks like we will get first confirmation here that Bagel Pirate's going to drop the second gate. Uh, to just follow suit, but just, just, a, just a wee bit later. Just a wee bit later. All right. Both of them going to get second scout as well. Bagel going to get... Man. These are like the little tiny advantages, right? That really don't mean much, but like he's going to get a quicker scout here because he was paying attention when his probe got here and he saw um, Matitas' probe going in. He went, oh, so you're up, and then sent his probe up immediately. It's like, it's like these little tiny things, right, that you'll never think about, but make enough of a difference. Ooh, bye, probe. That's fine. He did his job. Ooh. The doorman keeping out the enemy probes. Tickets, please. All right, we're going to go three zealots here into goons, probably. Might even actually go five. Yeah, I mean, the gas just coming down. That record is going to be a bit. So we're, we're going to pile on some zealot pressure here. And it looks like Atidas agrees. Dropping another pylon. Mm. All right. Either that or both of them want to just prove me wrong. It's always cool. Oh. A little bit of a supply block here for Bagel Pyre. There's your issue. All right. Dita says, well, I could just move across the map, right? Smile. All right, this probe is going to see the zealots just as they're right here. That's great. Uh, we just need to start building things. Yeah. Dragoons incoming here. That'll help. Mm. But yeah, three zealots beat two in the wall, and now they are in. Three zealots do one shot a probe. So if they all fire together, probes will start dropping like flies. That's three. Oh my god, these elves are derping hard. That one gets bounced through a pylon, though. All right. The goons are here. I mean, these elves got pretty banged up here. So that's nice. They will die pretty quickly, but... Yeah, they did enough damage here. They killed, like, what, four or five probes? And that's reflective in the fact that... Now, Atidas here has a bit of an advantage. Citadel coming on up here. Okay. Bagel, though, not content with what's going on. He's going to go ahead and push his advantage here. Three zealots, two goons versus two zealots, two goons. But with defender's advantage, of course. So. Now, what are you going to do? Or are you just scouting? So Citadel coming on up here. He could be going DTs. He could just be going legs. He could be going storm. There's a lot of options here, but you know, we can't we can't rule out the invisible men. Because they are invisible. And oh boy, are they ready to ruin someone's day. Yeah, well against four goons on top of the ramp, you um pushing up there is not the best of ideas. Temple Archives? Yeah, buddy. We're going to see some invisible men. Calling it now. Third gate and a citadel coming down as well, but with a forge. Ooh, Bagel Pyre understands the matchup. This man, he, this man's played some PvP, and it, he's like, you know what? I think I'm also going to go DTs. But with some cannons, just in case. Bagel probably just been setting up here to take his natch for a while. He's just not. <laughs> Zelda's going to come across here, see if it can't get some information, maybe even stop the natural from coming down. I don't quite think you'll be able to stop it, but... Yeah. So 
Yeah, he's just really worried about getting that cannon down. Really worried about potentially getting pushed. Which, I mean, to be fair, it is coming, but it's... Five goon, four zealot. Which we already have more than. And there they are. Look at them. Told you invisible men were coming. All right, the cannons will finish up here. Oh, sandwiched. Yeah, and spouting, spotting the cannons, he pulls the DTs home too. Very smart. Very smart. All right, and here comes the three-gate goon production. I'd love to know what his plans were for the um, for the Citadel. Yep. You heard the DT sound. You heard the scary invisible man sound. Time to go. Oh, God. Goon's running and trying to pass. This is rough. That goon's probably going to die. But we do have two cannons up here. We've got five goons plus what's retreating. Ah, we'll be fine. Yellow really has no way of breaking this. Second piling going down just for safety's sake. All right, we've got the forge, but no plus one. Meanwhile, Atidas, not sleeping on the job here, is getting plus one. He's going to set up a nice little contain here on the high ground. I don't really know how much that's going to help if the goons just want to go up this way, you know. But yeah, you, you got to give them credit for trying, right? Robo coming out up here. Yeah, he needs observers if he wants to get out on the map at all. And that is something he is recognizing. All right, High Templar is coming on up here. Storm researching away. All right, plus one and a Templar archives finally coming on up here. Natural's up, but now we're down nine workers. This has been mining for so much longer. Ugh. Bagel's gonna need something really nice here to swing it back in his favor. Like, yeesh. All right. With the observers coming, you will be able to move out in the map and try and get that damage done that he needs to swing the game back in his favor. But that's still going to be slow, and he's still open to backstabs. But in the meanwhile, he's still building up a decent army. He's down, what, seven workers and 15 supply, 14 supply. Yeah, so the armies are pretty comparable, especially once you take out the DTs and you factor in the High Templars. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's still pretty doable for Bagel, but he's got to get out there soon and do something. Pylon coming up, Pylon already up, DTs. Yeah, he's just going to try and starve them out. Not a bad idea. All right. The invisible men have been found. They are no longer invisible. That's a, that's a solid pickoff. Two DTs for free. More gates coming on up here. He's got his own high Templar. Observer's going to go across the map and scout. See, eh, what do you have to, bud? All right. Gets nice and settled in. Sees kind of just the army staging up over here. This game is settling in. 
Plus one with two one on the way here for Titus. Plus one. Almost done here for our boy Bagel Pirate. Legs coming on up here along with Storm. Meanwhile, just extra gateways coming down. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to drop the third yet. Maybe he is still just a little worried since the um, DT's got found. But we got a drop. Okay. That's five probes down the drain. It's fine. Well, what about second storm? Okay. Yeah, that High Templar earned his bread today. Yeah, um, well, we're down to 28 probes. Yeah, we're just going to go all in now. We got to do something. You don't just take that. Yeah, and expanding on the back of this makes a lot of sense. The observer here giving full information about the army movement. Bagel Pirate trying to set up a huge concave here. It ends up just being a straight line fight. Ooh, the storms. The storms are kind of all over the place. Some are hitting. No storm is doing friendly. All, all storms are doing friendly fire at this point, I mean to say. Oh, my God. That storm just ripped apart some zealots. But, I mean, we just have a superior army here. Our storms were better. We had more. And he's going to just go keep on pushing back. I don't think he quite has enough to kill uh, Bagel Pirate here. But I think I think it's just a march to victory from here. Unless he does something like incredibly bad and throws. The cannon tier. That's just rude. Like, why do you need those? Come on. All right. We got our micro probe. It's fine. Plus two coming up here. We haven't started armor yet. Ooh. Invisible men of our own. We do know that Titus doesn't have any observers. Our observer's been with his army the whole time. Ooh, we're going to see that he's got two now, so it's uh, just so close. Great idea. Unfortunately, it's going to fall apart by accident. This observer's running. Go, friend, go. Oh, he made it. Ooh, I like this, actually. Send the DTs out. Because we know one observer's back here. Because it tried to chase down our observer. <laughs> Still casting. Ah, you know. You know how it be. We cast around here. We don't always take it seriously, but we cast around here. It's also BSL, so. That's a little bit extra seriousness. No, but it is pretty. Uh, well, this is exactly the kind of damage that Bagel Pirate needed, by the way. <laughs> DT doesn't know what to do. Oh, om nom 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 nom. Yeah, this guy's got 17 kills. He's doing just fine. Don't you love that feeling when you look back at your base and you're like, huh, all of my army is, or all of my probes are gone. Oh my god, the storm. All right, but we are out of storm now. Are we? Yeah, we are out of storm. DT, where's the observer? We had an observer. Did he get sniped? There it is. Okay. Uh... Oh, God. Plus two versus two one. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's nice. Um, Sure. We, we take that around here. <laughs> I just killed your third. As he just doesn't care. He's got this base down here. Oh. Uh. 
And, I mean, Bagel Pirates technically get a worker lead right now. They're both stuck on two bases. Actually, we do have slightly more minerals here for Bagel Pirate left. Oh, my God, actually. Yeah, um... Quite a bit more. So, as of right now, until this base is online, it's still pretty good. For, it's back to... Well, it's now good for Bagel Pirate. God, I am. First cast of the day, guys. We're getting there. Alright. Let's see if the DT happens to catch this pro transfer. Or is this all just going down to the natural? Guess we're not risking sending everything down to the bait bottom yet. All right, we're gonna fall back here. We do have the high ground. It's over. I have the high. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well that's a storm. That is an absolute storm. Like, whoo. Okay. That's um yeah that's money. Bagel Pirate not checking bottom right, but also Titus not sending workers down to the bottom right. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Alright, now we're just going to have a little bit of a Mexican standoff here. Alright, who blinks first? Oh, DT's going to go for it. What wins? An invisible man with 18 kills or a photon cannon? Go, 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 go. Yeah, buddy. All right. Bagel part actually just says, well, I actually can't win here. And he says, GG. Oh, uh, this game actually has... He did it. He literally did it, guys. We found the guy who does it. <laughs> he had to make sure to get it all up in the main and everything. Incredible. GG's. Uh, how you doing today, Worst? We found the man who does it. Oh, man. All right. Fun little PvP to start us off. Oh, actually... This entire group is PvP. This is PvP side to side, top to bottom. All right. It's not what I expected, but I'm a, I'm I'm fine with that. Uh Yo Mick, how you doing? Uh, oh, we're doing pretty good. We got a standing desk, so now I can stand and talk and do the do the this, you know. I need to move that a little bit. There we are. Uh, it it actually does feel nice to have a standing desk where I can actually like get up and talk and do things. look different today well I mean I do have a new broom I'm in a new place there's new stuff new desk same me same shirt <coughs> uh, I don't know am I more tan I'm not gonna show up on camera well but and I guess I got a little bit of a farmer's tan going but like eh, you know so what happens when you <laughs> when your job is to sit outside and smoke all day. I mean, um, work. <laughs> oh, man. No, no. I don't go out. No, I literally just... Well, now I have a backyard to go smoke in. So I sit outside and just... And come summer, I'm going to be doing that in a hammock. So I'm going to be laying there just... Uh, I'm so excited, man. <laughs> 
God, it's already dark out. <laughs> Can't even go outside now and smoke in the sun. It's just already dark. Damn it, winter. What the fuck? Oh, man. All right, guys. We got more PvP action because this is just a PvP group. Don't blame me. Blame the... Blame Camo and whoever else handles the seating. LML, probably, for Chobo. Blame them. They gave us all PvP. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. Because spawning here in the top left-hand side with the gunmetal bluish-gray probes. Give it up for Caruzel. And in the top right-hand side. With the purple probes. You know them. You love them. That's our boy. That's tech. This is this is our boy. Totally unbiased stream, guys. Totally unbiased. Yeah, buddy. Tech had a better run of his group than I did of mine, probably. Although, I think... I think our group actually submitted the most replays, but I don't know for sure. And Tech is a strong player. He's got a good shot at this. I don't know any of the results from BSL Chobo, other than that I lost my group. <laughs> but I've already casted my group, so it's fine. So I know no more results for the season. So we'll see. Ooh, first scout. That's always annoying. All right, gateways coming on down here. Oh, workers pass each other. Bye. Tech, tech, pay attention. He's over here. You he saw this. Oh, I think he recognized and is corrected because, like, wait, you got here way too quickly. Tech doing a one gate into gas. Carzel doing a two gate. Ooh, okay. This is PvP as it's, as it's intended. One gate versus two gate. Ape versus man. Oh, scouting probe almost got got, but not quite. Second gateway coming on up here. Tech recognizing the danger he might be in. I'm in danger. It's tech right now scouting this. He's like, ooh. Ooh. Should probably do something about that. All right. Zealot's queued up here. We're going to need another pylon for Carzel if he wants to go like this. He's just going to keep making Zealot's. All right. Tech's second gateway is coming on up here. He's going to hold the top of his ramp. He should be fine. You don't play Protoss without knowing how to deal with a one gate versus two gate situation. This happened, uh, yeah, often. Often would be the right word. <laughs> All right, Delt's going across the map. All right, we're going to see the Cybercore come down here in just a moment once he's got the money. All right, we took our gas, but we haven't started saturating it yet. All right, as soon as I say it, of course. Oh, Tech, what are you doing? You bold man. I would have sent these elves around and in. Fuck you. All your elves are on the map. Let's solve that issue. Uh-oh. Guys, two more Zelda are coming. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, guys, Tech is dead. Yeah, guys, this is, this is not good. I repeat, code red, code red, baby. Oh, the Zelda doesn't even get in there. Oh, no. All right, these men are just wide walking into your mineral line. What do you do? These dollars come up to you at a bar and slap your butt. What do you do? Yeah, 
Yeah, this is um. Yeah, that's G G. Garazel taking a point off our boy. GG's. <laughs> Unfortunate, for sure. You look you hate to see the boys lose. Absolutely unfortunate. Alright. And here we are. Let's get the scoreboard set up. So much PvP. I'm spoiled today. If you don't know, PvP happens to be one of my favorite matchups to cast. Because it's just always dumb. There's never a time when PvP is, like, not interesting. Because someone's already... Someone is always doing something silly. So much PP action, you know it. Mm. Mm. Ah, you might be right. You may be right. I may be crazy. <laughs> I just might be a lunatic you're looking for. All right. And on that reference, let's get into it. <coughs> oh, ZVZ is a blast to watch and to cast. I love me some ZVZ. I, I, I genuinely find ZVZ just fun. Not to play. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Fuck off with that shit. But, like, when it comes to just, like, watching and casting and talking about and getting hyped about, ZVZ is fantastic. Uh, I need to get a wireless mic next. I need to get, like, a wireless pack and I just have, like, a face mic and I can just be, like, out here. Let's go. I actually, mm, I know a guy. I, I could get them. It's only, only, like, $500. I'd have to... Uh, I'd have to actually, because if I did that, um, all right, well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> now that's a tempting thought. <laughs> uh, the idea of having a wireless mic so I could actually just be, like, doing things and talking, like, and I don't have to be on top of the mic, like, you know, you have to with a microphone with this type of pickup pattern. Science, guys. Science. <laughs> I actually do want to get a handheld, a wireless handheld for the next LAN. So that way we can go out and do interviews and stuff. Like, hello, sir. What do you think of the games? And they can go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I go, I don't know. You gotta get like a fucking 1920s reporter on it. <laughs> All right, guys. Next PvP. Spotting here in the top right hand side with the brown probes. In E rank, give it up for Lamb. Got on the bottom right hand side. Very confused by that. He's like, Whoa. Give it up for a Titus. Now, the question is, is it because he is like, you know, like uh, a CD rank, or is it because he's F rank? Realistically, it's probably because he's like C rank. Because it, you never get lucky and get someone lower than you, right? You only get people who are better than you. That's just that's just the rules. Dem's the rules, man. I don't I don't make the rules. I just break them. Yeah. I feel like I played him for something and I got absolutely shit stomped. Or did did he play in something that I cast? No, I think I played him. I don't know, man. I my brain does not remember all the Starcraft. Hand. Why are all his probes down here on this bottom part of the minerals? Probes, go be free. You have a whole so many mineral patches up here. All right, so we're just opening up one gate. Versus two gate. Hello, this is Blizzard. 
You guys are playing PvP correctly. Keep it up. Click. Alright. Alright, and with a beautiful scout from Atitis here. Oh, no. Don't do it to him. Or do it to him. Honestly, do it to him. Do it to him. You gotta do it to him. The problem is, is that the mains in Polypoid are not great for proxying inside of. Don't ask me why I know. Well, at least the, at least the top right isn't. Like up here, you have all you have some dead space up here, which isn't great against Protoss. But like you still have this area. Down here, you got like over here is good. Up here, you got down here is fine. Like this base entirely, it just feels so much smaller. I have to ask Terrans. Terrans know the exact size of every main base, so that way they can complain about them. All right, probe zealot ready to move in. Reinforcements on the way. On the way. Oh, big man dragoons here to stop your fun. All right, gas coming out up here. We're gonna throw down the cyber core. All right, we're gonna do five zealots. All right, two goons and a zealot. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're gonna get much done here, Lamb. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. If I can be real for a second, in just a millisecond. I don't think he got this. Yeah. It would appear that he agrees because he is going to go home. Bye. All right. Goon range coming on up here. We're going to start our goons. Meanwhile, goon range almost done. This is the um, power, right, of a one gate versus two gate. Like, if you can hit with those three zealots before being scouted or, like, with them not having enough time to react, you can get something done. But if they scout it, they are just, they are just ahead. And, I mean, Lamb right now, ahead in army. Workers are basically equal. But the attack, right? That's what matters here. The Robo's coming up and Goon Range is done. Goon Range is, like, a little bit done. And Citadel's coming out up here. And this could be scouted. This probe is still here. Get this good on this probe. We need to make sure that this doesn't get scouted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's just going to accept his fate. Uh, Well, that could be super bad for a Titus here. Although he does have Robo coming on up here. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That's assuming he doesn't just push across the map and win. Not an impossible task. All right. All right, we do have plenty of zealots here. You didn't miss much, Mick. Don't worry, some zealots ran in and it was over. It was the um, that was the tech game that we just casted? No, 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 no. Tech loss, unfortunately. He um he went out to meet the zealots and they just kind of won the fight and that was over. It was a four minute game. Um, lamb. Lamb, you gotta build the Dark Shrine. Or not the Dark Shrine. Oh my god, I've been watching too much StarCraft 2 in preparation for Home Story Cup. You gotta drop the uh, Templar archives, my friend. Your Templars need to archive things. And by that, I mean they're archiving their weed. Because we all know they're the highest of Templars and the dankest of Templars. So. The um, archives is actually just a dispensary. It's the Templar dispensary. I actually like that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna workshop that a little bit. I think we can do something with that. 
All right, we got a lot of goons down here. We got a second Nexus coming on up here. He's got a lot of probes here to have a bigger army. But we have observers, so the DTs, they're going to be useless. Oh. You don't want none of this, Ricky Bobby. You don't want none of this. Alright, we're going to drop a forge as well. Safety cannon. Protect me from DTs, please. Robo, second cannon. So, it's, it's very interesting, right? The Dragoon versus the Stalker. Like, uh, what's actually better? Tit for tat. And, um... The Stalker is better for what it's designed for. The Dragoon is a better all-around unit. That is what I would say. But how you doing, Bruno? Asking questions like that. Or making statements, I guess. You... You made the statement. It wasn't really a question. Lamb's about to have a real bad time here. We're starting to lose that worker lead that we had. And if we lose that, we're already down an army. Yeesh. Forge and Citadel coming on up here. Alright, we're going to try and get something done here. Observer sees it. Do we have a second? Yeah, we do. We have one with the army. Perfect. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so what you could do is you could engage with the army here. Try and walk the DTs through. Or use the DTs to fight. Either way, you kind of lose, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is, um... It's all over but the crying. Yeah, we got, we got a DT at home, but there's, a, there's an observer here, guys. I do think that at this point, uh, Mr. Mr. Tuss here, Mr. Tuss is, um... Yeah, he's just going to win. Alright, yes. Brood Warrior is infinitely better sound design than StarCraft 2. And it's actually unfair. Like, I don't know why they put no effort into sound design for StarCraft 2, but they didn't. Um, hello? We actually need that observer here. Funny enough. A DT is actually really good by itself if we don't have detection. Ooh, that's nice. I mean, we sniped the observer, but we're still up 14, 18 army supply. Um, the you, the StarCraft 2 soundtrack? No, 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 no. Terran 3 exists. So does Terran 2. So well, even Terran 2 is better than StarCraft 2. Terran 1, that 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 hits. Lamb trying to take a sneaky base. I like it, but might be too little too late. Battle probe. <laughs> Battle probe waits to the goons out here just that way you can see you drop the proxy pylon. Love to see it. I think, um, like, Zerg and Protoss get a little bit better off in StarCraft II music. But Terran music, man, that's a huge downgrade in StarCraft II. Alright, we're going to try and start some stuff here. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you picked a fight with the wrong people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so those DTs we built because he had no detection... Um, are now going to do nothing because he has detection and he's building four cannons in your natural. That's cool. That's super mo. That's super cool. All right. 
Oh, one of the DT survives. Oh, this is the closest cannon to finishing. Can it do it? Oh, Spare Observer. It's fine. Oh, man. This is beautiful. We're just cannon pushing our opponent. Now, this is PvP, friends. What if, and follow me here, we built more cannons? Hmm. I think we need more cannons, chat. What do you think? Who said anything about meta? This isn't meta. This is just having fun. Or, or bullying. It, it really depends on which side you're on. <laughs> is smurfing having fun or is it bullying? <laughs> Uh, no, not to say that Ted is here is smurfing in any way, shape, or form, but he is definitely like a C-ranked player playing against an E-ranked player right now, and it it does show. He's got to make a heart. That's what he's got to do. He's got to make the heart. <laughs> they get the fuck out of my game heart. <laughs> make a giant little penis. You know, chink, chink. Or better yet, you can do it here. Penetrating the natural. All right. Yeesh. We do, we're up to 56 workers for Lamb, which is just kind of downright impressive. Zealot's going to go find that base, though, and yeah, that's the end of <laughs> This is... This is um this is actual cannon rushing techniques. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. Rock and do the is fall off. Hey. Alright. Smoke weed every day. Can we do it? Can we creep the cannons into the main? Well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is wonderful. Get in the shuttle. Get out of here. Go. No. Run. No. No. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Yes, the 15 minute cannon rush, boys. Here we go. We're both cannon rushing at this point. Average 15 minute cannon rush. I don't know how you break out of this as Lamb. Like, I, you got to get a Reaver. You need Reavers, but he can't afford Reavers because he's broke. He's broke as a joke and can't afford another Nexus, which means he's going to have to. Assuming he breaks out of this, which at this point is possible, but still unlikely he has to long distance mine his main until he has enough money for a nexus i love this game guys i i genuinely love this game and this matchup anyone who tells you brood war is bad or boring and so is pvp is absolutely wrong get them out of your life this has been the game, guys. This is the game of the day already. GG. And while definitely not favored, Lamb put up one hell of a fight, and oh boy, was it fun. GG. <laughs> oh, that was good. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Air toss PvP. Yes, Scout Corsair versus Scout Corsair. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a couple more games in this group, and then we got at least another group. I'm, I'm honestly just going to keep rolling through groups here until I get tired. So I'm going to take a quick break, though, because the ads are going to run, and I don't want them to run mid-game. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Catch you later, Bruno.
Yo, diggity. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, diggity. Sorry. You caught just in time to not have to watch the ads. Congratulations, guys. Perfect timing. This man's like, oh, the ads are running. Get in now so we don't have to watch them. <laughs> How are we doing, friends? How was the stream? No, my eight pennies. What will I do without those guys? <laughs> no. Ad rev is a joke. Oh, man. How was your stream? Was it good? Y'all have a good time? Oh, this was in the map pool? Ooh, Hasu League. Perfect. Well, we're going into Chobo now. Ha <laughs> ha. The BSL train keeps a rolling. Let's go. <laughs> also, they ne so I've asked four times for the graphics, and I got no answer any of the times. And then you asked once for the graphics, and Zero was like, here you go. And I was like, well, fuck me. I'm just not going to use them now. All right, fuck it. <laughs> you get what you get. <laughs> no one cares about... No, because no... I don't... <laughs> at this point, I'm committed. I mean, at this point, I'm committed to using what I got. This is like my fucking, this is like BSL 15, I think, <laughs> this graphic. 14 or 15, I don't remember if I updated it at, at all, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Everything still looks good. Ah. All right. Well, you're in the middle of a PvP train. Congratulations. Um, yeah, we've gone for this is um this group is all PvP, and we have a couple more left, and then we're gonna get into Group C, which I have no clue what that is. So, hmm? <laughs> that's half the fun of casting, right? It's just yeah, I don't know what's going on. Figure it out. All right. Let's hop right into the next game, guys. Ah, I'm curious how this one's going to play out. Because this one, still a little bit of a gap in MMR. But I think this one is a little bit more competitive than our last game. And our last game was a banger anyway. So, like, ha <laughs> ha. Spawning here in the top left-hand side. With the white probes. Give it up for Atidas. Currently rocking his group, man. He's looking good. And his opponent in the bottom right with the purple probes. Give it up for our boy. It's Tech. Mick Taren was worried earlier about missing a uh, Tech game. Don't worry. We have another one. We've always got more Tech games around here, man. Keep it close with the boys. <laughs> I'm here. All right. I didn't realize New Dark Origin was in the pool. <laughs> you know what it might have been? I think some I think it always got vetoed against me. I think that's what it was. No one wanted to play it against me. I mean I'm banning like circuit breakers and stuff, and they're all like, mm, you're gonna cheese me, aren't you? <laughs> and so this stuff gets banned, and I'm like, dang it. I had so many special tactics planned. <laughs> All right. Two player map, so I expect it to maybe be a little bit more aggressive than the last couple of games that have been on four player maps. So, I think we can be in for some fun here. I hope at least. <laughs> I hope. All right. One gate into gas. Also, one gate into gas, but a little bit later. Banging a little bit of money here. So he's going to go. Oh. Hmm. He's queuing up probes instead of building things. Interesting. Not that that's bad. He just. This type of record is still much quicker than Atidas is. So he will have that quicker tech advantage. He yeah, you knows it's only one gate anyway from a Titus, so, you know, that that quicker tech advantage will pay off. Alright, Cyber goes down. 
Here we go. He is skipping the zealot, or at least pushing it off. Yeah, he pushed that off quite a bit. I mean, the zealot's already marching across the map, but it'll be out in time to defend. And that's what we call calculated. Although, if it had been a little bit sooner, it would have timed out really well. So, you, the zealot finishes, and the cyber core finishes, and then you have a goon. But, that's eh, fine. We'll get the goon out eventually. Um, Tax Probe is still alive and scouting. It sees that the second gate has gone down. Oop. Hello. <laughs> Zealot just ignores everything going on around him. Like, this is fine. You can't hit me if I don't see you. Alright, he will really want some probe kills. Oop. Uh... All right, the goons hear that. will make sure the zealot can't get too much done. Another zealot coming across. All right, Titus is just trying to put on some pressure here. Bop. All right, yeah, at this point, Tech is holding, and he is... He's good. He's down a worker at this point, which... Checks out. Oh, might lose another worker. Yeah, okay. We lose one more. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. Robo going down. Tex probe is still alive. What the heck? Run, run. Run. Be free. No, okay. That's fine. He'll just miss the robo coming down, but it is a bit later than his. Maybe look at the timings. Yeah, this is feeling good for Tech. Tech is a D rank player. Titus is like, you know, high D, low C, I think, somewhere in that range. So I think on paper, a Titus is um, favored, but Tech is looking really good here. And that's the power of um, knowing your mirror matchups. <laughs> Don't be afraid to know your mirrors. All right, goon range almost done here. Observatory come on up. Very, very defensive. He's like, all right, you were aggressive before, so you might be trying something cheeky like DTs, so I'll be safe. Smart choice. All right. All right. <coughs> mm. My throat is dry today. It is allergy season for sure. Oh, God. All right. Titus dropping the Nexus here. I'm going to pile on behind. Probably going to drop a cannon here just to make sure no drops get in. That's smart. Scouting pile on. All right. Both players got their observers out. All right. What's next? Are we just going to three gate goon with an observer and call it good? Supplies are equal, like dead equal. Well, it's because tech is supply blocked, but that's beside the point. It's fine. Supply blocks are part of the game. It's calculated. All right. Tech has decided it's time to be aggressive. Eight goons and a zealot against seven goons. No zealot. About to be nine, though. Mm. Defender's advantage is cool. Love to see him expand here. Yeah, there it is. I love this little concave here. I think we need to talk about this for a minute. Like, it's... Look at it. It's like the perfect little concave with the observer out front. Ooh! 
Ooh, yeah, so see, when something like that happens, just all the goons just... And they do exactly what they need to do. Alright, yeah, send the zealot in first, follow with the goons. But even then, you're pushing into a concave, so it's kind of silly, but... It is doable. Oh, we gotta push in, though. So many of our... So many goons are just bouncing in the back. Yeah. That was a... The goons did not exactly want to fight there. Yeesh. Robo Bay coming on up here. Meanwhile, plus one for Titus here. He's going to drop the Citadel. All right, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Run. Get out of here. Immediately scare of damage upgrade. Before a shuttle, before a reaver, before anything. I need him to do an extra 25 damage, and I need it now. Um, yeah, I think that might have been a misclick. <laughs> you cancel it. That's the smart choice. It is funny, though. I like the idea. Just like, you know what? We're sending it. Ooh. Oh, no. The bridges. The bridges are nobody's friend, guys. The bridges are nobody's friend. If you think they're your friend, you're lying to yourself. The bridges are not your friend. They will never be your friend. But yeah, now suddenly Titus is in a commanding supply lead after taking some good fights. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. It's gonna, I don't like how it's looking for tech here. As I'm a little concerned that Titus is just gonna sweep the group. He's getting zealot speed here. All right, he's going to push across the bridge. Remember, the bridges are nobody's friend, but when you have this much more supply, like, he's taking some heavy losses doing it. A lot of derping army, but he is doing it. There you go, Tater. Yeah. Oh, here comes the Robo Slug. Come on, can you make the blooms? Bloom. Oh, the Scarab is derping. Yeah, that was not great. All right. Unfortunately, this is going to be basically the end of the game. Or whatever. The game is officially over at this point. <laughs> like, if it just spends his money, it is not even close. He's slaughtering the natural. He's sending more army across. He just needs to go home and macro for like 10 seconds, and he's good. Yeah, there it is. Tucks his army in a corner, goes and hits the goon button a bunch of times. Goon, 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 goon. Yeah. All right. And he's just going to chill. I mean, yeah, pushing up a ramp is always scary with your goons, right? Because they're kind of dumb. Plus, you know he's got reaver tech, so he might have a reaver on top of the ramp. So, oh yeah, I get being safe here. Waiting for reinforcements. Temple Archives coming on up here. Observer speed. All right. The thing is, you have an observer up here. You see what he's got. You see that the reaver's just now popping. Why are, why are you going home? Hello? Hello? Hemlo? Hello? What are we doing here, bud? This is, the, this is the worst time to go home. You don't just look at this and go, you know what? I am a mile or two or maybe even three miles ahead as I get a third base. I'm going to go home. Like, no, no. Keep your goons in an arc. You know, maybe you don't need all of them here, but keep some goons in an arc here to keep them from coming down and grabbing his natural. Like, my man. That's what you need to do now. Probes dancing. Ah, he is free.
Yeah, I just... The Titus could be ending this game right now, and instead he's letting it go on, so... I mean, and the thing is, right? At the pro level, you don't see it much, but especially as you get into the lower leagues, like Chobo, it is a lot easier to come back from a mistake. So... So the thing is, right? You need to go for the kill, and that's the hardest thing. That's what keeps a lot of people in lower MMRs is actually killing the opponent. Like, you can beat them, but can you kill them, right? And so, like, when you have them all like this, it's rough. But if you let Tech just live, he might get his natural up. He might start macroing. You take a bad fight, and you lose the game. You know, it's, it's a lot... In a pro match, if there's a mistake, like the smallest of mistakes, you can capitalize on it and instantly win. In these lower leagues, if you don't instantly capitalize on a, like a, something like that, you just give your opponent a chance to get back in the game. I'll, however, he is about to fly this shuttle right into these goons. So this is... He might actually just lose right here. Uh, yeah, leaving no... Leaving no... Um, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's the kind of thing that ends your game right there. <laughs> that's a move. And the funny, the funny part is the Titus didn't even see it. <laughs> like, these goons are just AFK attacking. But with plus one, they were able to just smack it down. Tech's, like, clicking the button for... This is exactly what happened. He's clicking the button for a shuttle going, where is it? He then realizes it has died. And he's like, nope. GG's. And how long is this? The Titus has been the guy today to just keep playing. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to make sure he got in here and actually killed something. GG. Yeah, no, it's it's 100% true. It's it's something that applies mostly at the lower levels, but you can beat your opponent all day long, right? That's challenging, but doable. But can you kill your opponent? Can you actually get them out of the game? Can you make it so you actually win the game, right? And then if you don't, you're leaving every chance you every time you don't kill your opponent, you're giving them a chance to come back. And sometimes that leads to some weird all ends, and sometimes you feel like you need to do more damage when you don't. But, and that's something that comes with time and a lot of experience and hundreds of thousands of games under your belt. But it's just, yeah, you got it. <laughs> it's not easy, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you crush their natural and you're like, all oh, right, yeah, I'm going to like set some lurkers up. I'm going to start macroing, building more bases. And then there's a drop in your main and your hive died. And your defiler mound is dead. And then suddenly there's tanks on the top of the ramp blowing away your lurkers. And you're like. <laughs> yeah, it's. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I definitely don't know from experience. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not once, not ever, chat. Not once, not ever. If I ever done something stupid like that. <laughs> oh, man. This is... um. So, standing deaths are supposed to be hard to get used to. Like, generally speaking, the idea of, like, standing at a desk is generally hard for a lot of people. But, like... We're an hour in, you know, I did sit down during the break and, you know, I'm feeling really good, though. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> my my CVT, we don't talk. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't talk about it. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> you know what's coming? Lurkers into getting tank pushed and dying. <laughs> Ta-da. And if I survive, Pat, so the funny thing is, right, my ZVT in a nutshell is I win by the six-minute mark. 
with like a nine pool speed, a four pool, a five pool. You know, I you know I do some fucking silly all in and I win. Win. From like the six minute to the twenty minute mark, I lose every game. I cannot win the mid game to save my life. But beyond twenty minutes, once it gets into this grindy game where I can just like get some bases up and just start throwing left, right, like hit them with some links on this side, some ultras on this side, and just kind of like pull the Terran apart, I win. This happened. I did um, three games against Fridge. Fridge is Terran. And in the first two games, he crushed me with an early push. And in game three, I managed to get a third base up quickly that he didn't spot. And we were fighting over my fourth base for a while, but I was able to get up to ultras. And then I started throwing some links here, and I hit this army, and I pushed over here, and I flanked him here. And I won. And so, like, when it gets into those really grindy games, I'm get I'm actually pretty good. But it's that, it's that mid game I need to figure out. I really, realistically, I just need to start ultra rushing every game and just figuring it out. Yeah, I just 12 hatch into um, six sunkens and um, straight into hive tech. No mutas, no lurkers. Just lings into hive tech, into ultras, and then just ultra ling. <laughs> oh yeah, two base ultra is a build, and I do, I I know roughly it. And you, you hit with ultras just as like the real big ball of marines is pushing, but he only has plus one at that point, and so you run out there with that and a handful of lings, and you just rip them apart. It is a good build. Ah. Uh, I just need to sit down and work on it because I, I want to do macro -y things, right? I want to play a big Hydra Lurker into Ultra Defiler. You know, I want to play these big games. I just don't survive the middle part because Terran's kind of busted. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. All right, guys. Last game of the group before we move on to Group C. Ah, this group was uh, a bit quicker than I expected. Spawning here in the top left-hand side with the purple probes. Give it up for our boy. It's Tech. And his opponent in the bottom right. Also our boy in the red probes. Give it up for Lamb. Yeah. ZBT mid-game kind of rough. Tech versus Lamb, guys. This is a... Um, this is a hotly contested game. They're both the boys. Who do we cheer for? You know, like... Oh, yeah, I don't expect this to be an honorable macro game at all. <laughs> Not with these boys. But you know what? I'm expecting it to be fun nonetheless. All right. Gateway's coming up here. No proxy from Lamb. Meanwhile, he 9 9 me in our CPL preseason. The man hit me with a 9 9 in the center of this map. And I still won. Let's go. Dude, my ZVT carried me to tier 2. And I'm actually kind of upset. Because my. Like, I only got. Pro like. Every time I got a Protoss, I have like a 70 something percent win rate against Protoss currently in um, CPL. My ZVT, I've won like one. My ZVZ, I think I'm a 0% win rate. So, yeah, if that tells you anything about how I got into tier two. I blame the staff. Escalade wanted to watch me fail, so he made sure I got tier 2. That actually is the most plausible explanation. Man, you, I do some crazy stuff in um, ZVP. Uh, funny enough, the game where Lamb 99 me, I was trying to go 3 hatch before pool. No, three hatch before gas. I had my pool down, but I was going for three hatch before um, uh, gas. And then his um, <laughs> zealot walked in, and I went, oh, shit. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> it, um, Yeah, that was a tense moment. 
Nothing makes you go, oh, shit, 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 shit. Like watching a zealot come in when you have your spawning pool is not even close to done. All right. Straight in the goon. Hello? Yeah, straight in the goon. Interesting. All right. Zealot's going to come up here and poke some workers. Got him. Get wrecked, nerds. Oh, oh, can he get it? No, he's not going to get the final hit. Two more zealots coming on up here. Probe's like, oop, nope, I don't want to be part of this. Uh, this is a lot of zealots, actually. The gas just now coming on up here. I don't think we're appreciating how much aggression lamp's trying to pour on here. All right. Uh. Whoa, this probe got two kills. What a Chad. Oh, my God. He almost had three kills. He almost did it, boys. Almost did it. Dude. Lamb is... Really just laying into it. Robo finishing up here. Observatory. Yeah, I think DT is a fair assumption at that point. They're like, man, why are you making so many zealots? <laughs> right? Like You got to be like, huh, there's a, there's a question mark here. Huh. I don't know. Okay, Cybercore is done. We do have a lot of Zealots. Unfortunately, we have no way of actually beating Dragoons with them. Like, realistically, the only way to beat Dragoons is to try and, like, sneak some out and around so you can get a surround on them. But even then, like, uh... uh <laughs> you know? This cannon, nice. Just in case there's DTs, but there isn't. Oh. oh man. These these zelts are getting picked apart. Now we do have our own goons, so that's helpful, but it's a uh, four to one ratio. Which um if I do the math, it does actually favor tech, believe it or not. I know it's weird weird that like more goons is greater than less goons but and I don't know science bro all right yeah, he's pushing in now nah. the zelts are providing a very good meat shield though right like, Tech is slowly trying to work away at them, but it's so hard with so many Zealots. They're just... They're tanky suckers. All right. Four gates on one base is not a thing, I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, we got one goon. At the cost of all of our Zealots. We got one Dragoon. Um, tech could go and expand right now. Honestly, I wouldn't hate to see the expand here. He wants to just win it, right? Which I, I do think he's about to. But, you know, you drop the Nexus, right? So that way when your opponent watches the replay, they're like, Oh, you're telling me this wasn't an all-in? He was actually macroing? And then they get really upset, right? That's the secret, Cap. If you know you're about to win, just drop a bunch of expands to make it... To make your opponent feel even more behind than they were. And then you look really good. Oh, the drone's got a kill. Look, or the probes. Look at it. No! Don't kill Probius. Yeah. 
Yeah. GG. Both put up a fight, and at the end of the day, Tack reigned supreme. GG's. All right, guys. That's the end of our PvP group. I don't know what to do now. We're going to have to cast other matchups. <laughs> guys, this is weird. What do I do? Okay. That's actually a pretty banger group. I, yeah, well, pff, when people don't play their games, what do you expect? Oh, Killa, you're going to appreciate this next group. Or you're going to hate this next group. It depends on how well you did. <laughs> All right, let me send out the um, the spot. <laughs> let me go ahead and let everyone know. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he's not an armor. Oh, Flupendo's not an arm. I thought he was. He's serious. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Molding. All right. Well, I do like some molding, so uh, this should be good. <laughs> also, yeah, now we're seated, guys. I'm in my chair. You know? It's electric. I Fucking greatest investment I ever made. And it's also a tax write-off, so, like... We do like those around here. No, I just had a broken chair. Like, every... At least once a month in my old place, I would just find a screw under my chair that had fallen out of it. I don't know how it had so many screws in it to begin with. I'm pretty sure I found more screws on the ground than I put in that chair when I built it. I don't know where they kept coming from. There was no screws left. The arm, so like one of the arms was bent down, like, because I lean, right? I... I do the um, the full on like the you know the, the captain leaning against the side of the chair you know get some good Star Trek in there, and one arm absolutely gone, the other arm was bent all the way down basically so like here it is normally it was like it was bent down like this. The back, um, when I had it locked upright ninety degrees. The highest it would go is about this tie. All right. I should probably do the other. So is this high? normally right? This is how high it would go. This is where it would sit. <laughs> That's why my posture was so bad. So like when I was like, uh, like falling back in my chair, that's just because that's where my chair sat because it was broken. But nowadays you got a nice working chair, a nice working desk and overall yeah. We're good. Oh, I know. I My back already appreciates this so much. Because I I like to sit back but straight up, right? And maybe it doesn't have to be like straight 90 degrees, but it's got to be like at least 80 degrees. My buddy got me in that habit when he set his car. Uh, my buddy drives his car um, when he his driver's seat is straight 90 degrees. And I drove his car once. And I was like, this is weird. And he's like, no, no, no. Trust it. And I drove it a second time and I went, oh, this is so good. And now, yeah, now I just kind of need to sit up. Well, enough talk craft. How about we get into some um, StarCraft? Oh, yeah, when you're just like... Click, 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 click. <laughs> As you're repeatedly hitting the drone button. Drone, 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 drone. Drones intensify. 
I'm not missing anything, right? No, I'm not. Sweet. All right. Perfect. I just have YouTube up on my phone for the chat, so I just want to make sure I wasn't missing anything there. Hi, YouTube. How you doing? I can see through the code. Ah. <laughs> That's how that works, right? All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God, I've become a Zergling. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Spawning here in the lower right hand side with the magenta drones. This guy gets it. Look at that. Give it up for Killer Ace. As opponent in the top center, 12 o'clock position. Give it up for James Bond. Let the sky fall. I don't know why. I've been like, the song Skyfall has been stuck in my head for the last month. And I know that that only means one thing, which is I need to rewatch Skyfall, which is, in my opinion, one of the best James Bond movies. And uh, I know it's new 007, and a lot of people have issues with that. But I think it's great. All right, SCV's getting chased by the by the lings. Natural almost done. Third base. Oh, I like this as a third base spot. This is good. I've been trying to take the base up here, and oh boy, is that a bad idea? This base is so bad to take. Oh, it's literally the reason I veto this map is because. I always take the third up there, and it just don't work. Like, look at the third here, right? So, you have, your, like, your main, your natural, and then this third is so pocketed, right? Because you have, like, this area. It's a nice little choke. You have a lot of space between the high ground and down here. Here, it's literally, like, high ground, entrance to base. No choke. All right. Our lings are slow, but they will slow down the vulture a little bit. We never made a sunken. This is a problem. This is exactly how my game went on this map for um, CPL. <laughs> and I lost <laughs> because of it. Uh, Vulture in the main. This is not where we want him. You got to get that 330 sunken. Man. It... Oh, my God. So many drones are one hit. All right, Hydrogen coming out up here. Well, is up, I should say. Oh, my God. He's got 10 health. Someone touch him twice. Oh, my God. Look at the micro here. Got him. You know what the best part about that is? Look at his bank. This is the epitome of Terran, right? Oh, 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 look at my micro. Look at it, look at it, look at it. He hasn't looked at his main base in the last three minutes while he's been microing. <laughs> All right, speedy vulture coming in, but we got a sunken, we got lings, and we got hydras. Literally going to get nothing done. We do have the third base, so we have that extra larva too. All right. This is enough to push him back. I would love to see link speed. It's kind of expensive early game if you're going for something else, but it really it makes you I don't want to say viable against vultures, but it like it makes it better. Makes it playable. If that counts for anything. Mine's coming out up here along with a tank. Oof. All right, he's gonna go Goliath tank. Normally, you just go Goliath with a mech build. You go, like, a Vulture or two into Goliath, but... Jedi minds don't work on me. Only money. 
I can't do a Tridarian. All right. Yeah, just keep building drones at that base. Don't build anything else. Hydra speed coming up here. We just have a huge round of drones. A couple of overlords, too, because those are important. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and one tank and three vultures are out on the map now. Which is enough to kill me, usually. Like, if Terran pushed in with this right now, I would lose. Usually. Terran's just too strong, man. How you doing, minions? The chair recommendation, absolute S tier. This was a, um, I like it. Still sick. Oof. Just stop being sick. Easy, lol. All right, Goliath's coming on up here. He's going up to five factories already. Damn. This man is macking hard. Look at this. He's got a tank and two Goliaths out. That's it. And some, and a vulture on the map. <laughs> like, this man is, um, this man's balling. We ball, man. Double machine shop. <coughs> Yeah. James Bond got the paycheck of minerals and Vaspian gas and he went, fuck it, we ball and just built a bunch of factories. Double Evo coming on up here. Uh, I haven't seen him around. I think he's played in BSL before. Like I think he played last BSL, but I don't know for sure. Like, I feel like I've seen him before, but yeah, no, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him in CPL. What? This isn't, you don't need it, you don't need it to be a 3 vo build. Not every build has to be the 3 vo The 3 vo is a strong build. Almost as strong as the Forge. Scan, scan. Checking the other main. I like it. This Terran is thinking through everything he does, which is impressive because I don't think I've ever said that a Terran is thinking before. Um, so, I mean, props to James Bond here. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need to... I need to watch that movie. I think I might watch that tonight. We'll see how long um, Group D is. Because I think this group... Well, this group is probably another hour and a half or so. Depending on how much we BS around. You know you know what we like to do around here. You know what we're about. But um, depending on how long Group D is, I might cast it. Or I might not. If it's too long. Then I think I'm going to watch Skyfall tonight. And I'm going to just enjoy a good movie. Group D's nuts. Oh, I need to update the stream title. Oh, crap. I forgot. It's not on V anyway. Really? Layer the third? I like that. Oh, man. Government deals. Are we back to that? That's true. Ah, we can take a look at the government deals after this game. Terran doing Terran things where he just sits back on two bases. I think he thinks that Killer Ace is a Protoss. I think he's like, he saw the drone. Like, obviously, he got stuff in here. He was killing drones and linked earlier. But I think he's like, huh, were those Protoss drones? Because, you know, it's 11 minutes. He's not even considering a third base. Oh, he's going to donate some tanks. Oh, that's... Why can't Darren's do this to me? Come on. Like, the Terrans I play against already have, like, double the supply and have siege mode and are all, like, right here already. 
Like, what the hell? Why can't I have nice things? Anna, how you doing? The new place is absolutely fantastic. I love having a standing, like an electric desk where I can sit and stand. Like I stood for the first group, got an hour and change of standing in. Now I can sit down, you know, and relax and enjoy some more casting. And if I really feel it, I can hit the button and it goes right back up. Got a lot of counter space for cooking. Got an outdoor for grilling. I'm so excited to have a hammock this summer. I'm going to set up a hammock and I'm just going to get lost in the sauce in a hammock. Are you kidding? It's going to be fantastic. That's, um, that's a good size. I'd have to double check the exact lot size, but yeah, it goes for a bit. And we're, um, we're going to, me and my roommate are going to, ooh, hello. I like queens. I actually do like them. I do this. I used to do this a lot more. I don't do this much anymore. But yeah, uh, me and my roommate next summer are going to put up planters and we're going to, uh, we're going to grow like tomatoes and carrots and like, you know, small veggies and shit. Oh no, 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 no. Run ladies. Run, 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 Brenda, run. This is Brenda in her younger years before she got old and started knitting. All right. Uh, yeah, tanks are surprisingly good units, so not much you can do there. All right, Vulture's running in. We do have two Hydras to save the day. Oh, we got three. Hello. Uh, brother, this is not... What do you think? <laughs> All right. Man's playing TVT here with the mines. Oh, man. Creep colonies coming on up here to keep us safe. All right. The queens are back, baby. All right. Fun fact about queens. What he's going to do is he's going to use an ability that takes 150 energy. It's called Spawn Broodling. And it's going to delete any mech unit it hits with one exception. If the queen dies while casting, you don't. it doesn't go off. Literally just nothing happens. The parasite hits it and just nothing happens. Uh, and queens are expensive and 150 energy takes three hours to regenerate. Give or take. Look. I, I want to see an infested CC at this point. All right. And we're whittling down the tank count, but it's just, it's such a slow process. Like, uh, it is actually probably, yeah, it's probably easier to rebuild Queens than it is to let them recharge their energy. That's actually true, though. Oh, why are the Hydras over here? Hello? They're just like, no, this is fine. All right, we're going to come in here. We're flanking. We're flanking tanks. Um, bad news, though. Tanks are still good. That's true. Queens do pay for themselves pretty quickly. Actually, yeah. Our queen, um, our brutling has been really good here. We brutling to Goliath. Nice. That's a flex. Yeah, what the hell? That seemed like a lot more. He just... The Broodlings, man. You can hit him. And then what I like to do after I've... Um, after you call the tanks, you fly in here and you're just Broodling all his workers. And it's just... It infuriates the Terrans. And honestly, that's what I would... I live for making Terrans upset at their life. Like, if, if I can get to a point where I can force Terran to cry a little bit... Yeah, I feel a little bit better. <laughs> the broodlings are coming. <laughs> go, boys, go. Broodlings last for friggin' ever, so it's fine. Oh, we're going to get the EMP of a century here. Or at least he wants it. 
Brother, the broodlings are just going. Oh my lord. Oh no, 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 no. He hit one. Just kill the queen. J just fucking off her. She doesn't. It's, it's, it's it. Honestly, what's really nice is since you have queens out, you can um, parasite um, things like vessels and such. Oh my god, how did that get off? They just didn't shoot at the queen for a second. And so it, the broodling landed. And uh, James Bond playing a very slow and methodical mech against these queens and it's kind of getting pulled apart. Bop. <laughs> Got him. This is where you like you're clicking through your control. You're like one, two, three. You're like clicking around, finding the queens with the energy. Oh man. Yeah, at this point, Killa has so much of the map. All he has to do is not die to the army, and so long as he keeps knocking out tanks, he will not die to the army. So yeah, that's a um hate it all right and now what you do is you pivot into guardians as well and you just let them rain havoc all right free scv always nice Taryn is kind of broke like he's got income he's just it feels like it just doesn't last very long. Mostly because of how good the broodlings have been. All right, here we go. Oh, it doesn't even fire. I was going to say you get to see where it just kind of doesn't do anything if the queen dies, but the queen died before firing it. Killa has quite a bit of bank here to work with. I'd love to see a couple of macro cycles get thrown down. He is dropping hatcheries everywhere, so... It is just a matter matter of time. Oh yeah, no. Taryn has the best music and it's not even close. It's not even fair. Like this is Zerg music right here. And it's like, that's cool. I'm used to it because I, I obviously I played Zerg. But, like, it just doesn't hit the same, you know? Yes. True. Ooh, popped a vessel at least. Spend some hydrants, get a vessel. It's not bad. Especially because EMPs are really the one thing that are, your queens are worried about. Oh, so how are you doing, Jacob? Welcome. Hey, the mute is here. Perfect for the guardian switch, like I called. Oh, here they come. Here come the ladies. Bop, bop. <laughs> oh, man. Why can't my games go like this? Seriously. Also, broodlings do um, four damage against three armor. So they are literally doing one damage at a time. Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, that's... When you say that you're killing um, mech with broodlings, that's not exactly what you picture in your head, but, you know... Hey, look, you know, you got them. You, you paid for the broodlings. The cost of broodlings is essentially the cost of your queen, so, like... <laughs> oh man, I remember back in the days. I uh, that was about the same. I played when I was what five, yeah, two thousand one. And yeah, it's just you do power overwhelming or Operation Seawall. Show me the money. Uh, what's mine is mine. If you just need minerals for some reason, at that point, I I never understood why you wanted um gas or minerals um cheats. Cause like all right, breathe deep or what's mine is mine, right? So, why would I do those when I could just do show me the money and get 10,000 of each? 
you know? That's how I thought about it. So I used power, or I used show me the money when I needed to cheat. Um, uh, there, there's no cow level, um, is great if you just want to get out of a level. Uh, black sheep wall, of course, so you can see everything. Oh, yeah, I, I know way too many of these still. Um, what else is there? Oh, um, there's an infinite energy one. And I don't remember what that is. Um, uh, shoot. I never really used it because I never use spellcasters because I'm a giga chat who doesn't believe in spellcasters. All right, here we go. Bop. The queen's kind of not sure what to do, but they're getting there in the end. It might have been. Uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> there is no spoon. There is one spoon. There are two spoons. Ah, honest trailers. That's a fun one. All right. I don't know if he actually has any queens with energy left. I don't think so. Oh, we do have one. There's no spoon level. No, the one queen with energy got EMP'd. Rip. All right, so now just macro your little heart out, right? Make a shoot ton of hydralis and just A move in here. And then when you respond, you A move in here with the rest. Yeah, kind of like this. I was thinking a little bit more organized, but you know what? Does it really matter if it works? Guys, guys, is Zerg doing it? Oh, D Matrix is not going to save you. GG. The Queen's bringing up the rear. Just in case, boys. Just in case. Let's go. GG's. Killer Ace said he did bad. Immediately wins. Jacob, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. So now that's how you start a group. Ooh. All right, guys. Ads are about to run. Give me a minute here. I'm going to hit the ad button, and then we'll get into the next game. Don't go anywhere. I also might stand up again, so. I think I'm going to try and change it every ad break, so that way I like, sit, stand, sit, stand. Government deals, fine. We'll do some government deals, too. Bro, fuck TSA. They're supposed to mail you. If you ask, they're supposed to mail you your knife or whatever they confiscate from you. And I went and they took a multi-tool and I'm like, hey, the rules say you have to mail this to me. And they're like, nah, fuck you. And they just didn't and I'm pissed. some good stuff here ah. Wait, why is this truck being hmm I'll have to take a look at that one
All right. All right, friends. Since we had a request for it, there is a um, there's a website. Uh, it's called GovDeals.com. Fun fact: the government just sells things to people if you're willing to look for it and auction on it. And because of that, we we from time to time we like to take a look at what's up, especially in the great state of Oklahoma. Oh, that's the wrong button. Wait, why is that the wrong button? Oh, I know why that's the wrong button. Because um. My monitors all got screwed up. Uh, is this my card? No, it's not. This is my card. There it is. Are those currents from the 70s? Possibly. Oh, that's because it's still set to passion craft. So there we are. There we are. So, wait, where's OST? There it is. Hey. All right, guys. You got some fridges. All right. <laughs> Philips TV VCR. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of interested. That's tempting. Um, Label printers. Yeah, I fucking hate label printers. Uh, cloth love seat. Okay. Okay. What if we kissed on the um, Oklahoma surplus love seat? An elliptical machine with some parts missing. What parts? I feel like that's an important part to know. Pedal. Oh, okay. So it just is missing like the stuff that makes it electric. You can still just use it. Okay. I, I might take a look at that actually. Um, CRT TV. Let's go. 32 inches, so we're talking like, sorry, I have a 32 inch screen next to me, so like this big, but like, yeah, I remember those days. All right, some scrap metal, actually, like, not the worst thing to grab, you know, if you can get it for cheap. Yo, we can get typewriters? Yo, no shot. Dog, we're getting two phones. Three typewriters, a projector, and something else. All right, guys. I'm fucking sold. Dell projector. Search protector. Oh, it's a search protector? The fuck? Oh, it's like a... Okay, it's like an actual search protector. Okay. Yeah, okay, and then a toolbox. Yeah, seven bucks? I could consider that. Yo, yo, I can get a 95 Ford 555 backhoe. Currently a 3K. Yeah, that sounds about right. Does not run. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's got power steering, guys, except the power steering leaks. Oh man, good old, good old Oklahoma. Yeah, it's got power steering if you just fix it. AV carts. Oh man, I have some memories of these guys. Holy crap. That's a lot of receipt printers. That's a lot of receipt printers. Oh my. Three boxes, so it's... Let's see, so it's... Nine, eighteen, eighteen, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Yeah, that's a yeah. That's that's quite a few of them. Yo, oh no keys. I'd have to call a locksmith. That's ah, too much work. Dell monitor stand. Nah. Uh. Battery backups, yeah, none of these work. I know. You want to know how I know? Because half of these came from my team. Um, sorted monitors, neat. How about the F-250, though? What's wrong with it? 
All right, so it needs a new engine. So basically, you have to. So you buy a 2015 F250 uh, Super Duty. Eh, I can use a new back gate. That's fine. Seats. That's whatever. It's a 250. You're not buying it because it's got nice seats. A nice little clean out, and then what? Two, two, twenty-five hundred to replace the um, to p replace the engine, probably depending on where you go. Yo, J. Oh, new tires, so another six hundred. All right. So all in all, if you get it for a thousand dollars, right? You're putting like three or four into it. It's not bad, dude. We're looking at gov deals, man. We're just looking at some TVs. You want some tires? You want some government tires? Medical treadmill, untested. Um, some towers. More receipt printers. Fuck. Regular printers. No, thank you. Assorted office supplies. Tape. Uh, you can get some sooner. You can get a sooner tag cover. Nice. Yeah, nothing else of real interest in there. What the? Are these hubs? What the hell? Yeah, seven port USB 2.0 hub with surge protection. This is just a fucking pile of these um, USB port hubs. What? All right, let's take a look. We'll get back to StarCraft in a minute. Ooh, this is nice. You're going to put something, you're going to frame it. You get it like, you're going to put something around it. <laughs> it looks nice though. Oh, okay. Metal rack. I think I actually know which one this is too. It's the funny part. Sort of keyboards and mice. Electronics. Oh, I've got enough of those. Filing cabinets. I wonder if these came out of the um, thing that we were fucking cleaning out. Sand spreaders. Great. We're getting rid of these. Ju oh, Duncan. They must have upgraded. Yeah, <laughs> these are all from Duncan. They must have got an upgrade this year. Revolving bookcases. Mm, that's tempting. Office chairs. Debris remover. <laughs> okay. That's um. Vague. Servers, routers, and APC backups. What have we got here? Um, these photos are so bad. Oh yeah, all of these came out of my building. I these were all on the pallet two weeks ago. Uh, HP server. No, not quite worth. Ooh, an air compressor. <laughs> no knives. Lots of snowplow. Oh, Duncan did a whole revamp. Look at that. Duncan selling all their snowplows, too. They got a whole new budget thing. I want it. I'm going, I'm going to Colorado. <laughs> Buying a police cruiser. Oh shit, that looks nice. Yeah, you can still put some, like I'm thinking of like covering the bezels of the TV, right? You can put some wood in there. Yeah, you, know, you just paint it or something. I mean, I guess you wouldn't because it would kill the original style of it, but you kind of got this like running a Pentium three. Nice. All right. Uh, VSL. Off. There we are. All right, guys. It looks like that's all government deals has for us today. But man, is it still fun to look? <laughs> all right, one second. Let me get the scoreboard set up. All right. Got to set that. Got to set the map right. Uh, 
There we are, guys. Let's get into game number next. Whatever one's after the one we just watched. <laughs> All right. Let's get right into it. All righty then. <laughs> Welcome back, Tater. Yeah, we're going to just shift tab that. Spawning here on the top left hand side with the blue drones. Give it up for Noms. Serif. And his opponent in the bottom right hand side. With the red probes. Give it up for Flipendo. Alright, guys. ZVP on a two-player map. I'm here for it. This is what I thrive in. This is the stuff I enjoy. Alright, PvP was fun, but... ZVT and ZVP, now we're more in my wheelhouse of understanding things. Which means we have a ZVZ. Probably. Assuming these people actually played each other. Alright, nine pool. Nine pool speed. Nine pool speed. Do it to him. Come on. Oh. It's going to be just a nine pool. Missed opportunities. Unless you just want to go for the early overlord, but like. No, okay. It's just a nine pool. Missed opportunities, friend. Missed opportunities. We could have had speed. We could be all inning. But I guess someone wants to macro or whatever. It's interesting you go nine pool instead of over pool. I guess he really does want to put on that early pressure. Or that he just assumes Flipendo is going to do it and he uh, wants to be ready. And, well, it's going to kind of work in his favor. No matter, no matter what his initial thought was, his current thought is, huh. Well, he doesn't actually know yet. Once he knows, he'll be like, huh, that was cool. That worked out. All right. Ling's up here. Looks like he is just going to go ahead and try and expand on the back of this. Just, you know, make it some safety lings and then drop his hatchery. It being a bit late is an acceptable loss, all things considered. All right, Zealot staying at home. <coughs> yeah. These elders are staying at home just to make sure nothing silly happened. Ugh. But, of course, they're not actually in the walls, so. <coughs> yeah, let's go ahead and drop that cannon. Oh, he's going to go Nexus instead. What a Chad. Protoss Chads rise up. All right. Overlord going to come in here. He's going to see where the Nexus is coming along. Nothing really going to stop him anyway. He's like, what are you going to do? Stab at me? All right. Lair coming on up here. Yeah, dude. Seraph is uh, he's kind of good at the game. All right. So two hatch layers. So we're gonna play some mutas here. I like it. Cybercore just now coming out up here. I lied. I lied. He made a liar of me yet. We're gonna see lurkers here. We're gonna go straight lurker rush. Hmm. Guys. Guys. I don't mean to play favorites, but like some of you submit replays and you just kind of play a game. And then Seraph submits a replay, and he does something like this. And I'm not saying I have favorites, but, eh, you know, you know. Oh, <laughs> the probe makes it in, though, every time. Why? Why does it always happen? All 
All right. Link's become... There it is. Lurker aspect, baby. All right. So we want to go... Yep. Citadel. Because we're going to go straight into High Templars and use Storm to deal with the Lurkers. It's a lot of Lings. It's a lot of missed drones, especially when we're only at 13 workers. There's two workers on his natural here. He's really worried about the zealot move outs here. I mean, four zealots, but like, what do we got here? 14, 16 lings? Yeesh. Sheesh. Oh. There is still time. Like, these lings aren't going nowhere. Yeah, there's 19 lings in two hydras now. Zoom, zoom. Oh, I told you there was time. <laughs> the hydras move commanding. H Hello, boys? Where are you going? <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, you could just run in and win, by the way. From here, you you, you literally just like right-click up here, so all your links run in, and then you just click down the cannons inside the main. Oh, they're going to do some... Ooh. Some backdoor action, boys. Um, Fun fact. With three lurkers, this takes for fucking ever. Source, I've done it. I can only think it's going to be worse with two. Also, they don't always hit all of them. All right, so he is just going to go for some all-in up the back door. Man, you got to watch out for your back door, man. Yeah, he's just 13 drones in a dream. I do actually like the Lings helping here. This one's not being targeted by the Lings, so we can see how well the Lurkers are doing on this one. And I think it's 10 Stasis is here. Oh, they're getting low. Oh, the zealots see it, though. The zealots are like, hmm. <laughs> Does it matter? Good question. I would honestly love to see a bunch of this army go right through the front door. I think you should still push through the back door, but you need to send some at the front door. You hit it from both sides. Wink. Giggity. Yeah, see, some of these are just different levels of damage. A twofer. Yeah, you gotta hit him with that twofer. Alright, perfect. We have a bunch of zealots here. Good news, these are lurkers. No, the robo's just coming up here. He doesn't have any high templars. He doesn't have storm. What? You knew this was coming. My friend, you you saw the the hydras or the hydra den and the lair. This is um, this is a bit of a ripperoni here. The leagues are trying to figure out their way in. The lurkers aren't really participating yet, which is honestly the only saving grace for Prodots here. But this is also why I want you to hit the front, right? Because like, look at this. If this hits the front right now, it crap, it collapses. Like, you absolutely win if you hit the front right now. But now we have to wait for the units to get in place. Our observatory's coming on up here. I mean, there's still potential here, right? Uh, there's still nothing up front. We just need to wait for the hydras to get here. All right. And on it, the neat thing is, right, these lurkers holding this ramp here... That means you can't get reinforcements down to the low ground at all. Oh, he's just going to go for a huge lurker bust. Seraph, my boy. Yeah, Flupendo's handling it as best he can. 
I would love to see yeah, a bunch of lings here. Honestly, hydras would be fine too, but like whatever. Yeah, you're gonna have to get something done here. And that's why I like him cracking the natural here. Honestly, yeah, just run in, click down the pylon, and just pray. Yeah, that's not how you win. You you gotta send it, and he's not sending it entirely. He's only sending it in waves. You gotta you gotta full send. Oh, this is a mess. This is what happens when you half send it. You lose oh my god no that's a disaster it's disastrously bad yeah um, at that at this point the game's over yeah don't half-ass anything whole asset gg well played a fun game a very fun and interesting idea it just didn't work because he didn't quite send it all at the same time. GG's. No, no, not another link. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's a nice little emulator. Uh. Okay, that is kind of cool. That yeah, okay. I'm a little jealous. A little jealous. Just a little. Oh. Ooh, it's a Pentium 4. Ooh. So much stronger. Alright. Let's With this Maxter drive, damn. That is impressively old. That, yeah, that's. Yeah, no, um. You're dating yourself just a little bit. Just a little bit there with that. What did it run? 3.1 <laughs> They were purchased in 06. Okay. <laughs> it's running XP. Yeah, that's fair. No, it's XP, like, it's reasonable, but it's uh it's just more fun to make fun of it because it's like it's so old and it's so outdated cuz like technology is just right? Like straight like just straight upwards basically. So it's just one of those like, hmm. Okay, so you just, you hide the, you have it so it auto runs the emulator on startup and it just hides the mouse. Well, that makes sense. Makes sense. All right, guys, here we go. Spawning here in the top right hand side with the blue SCVs. Give it up for James Bond. Bond. James Bond. And his opponent, shaken, not stirred. Give it up for Seraph. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Give me a large fry, actually. <laughs> uh. All right. I just yelled my order. I don't know if you heard either time, so we'll find out. <laughs> All right. Goon range goons. We did not build a zealot. We absolutely skipped the zealot, right? Marine coming out here. It's going to push back the probe. 
The submarine missed it. Oop. Probus decided he's seen enough. Factory coming on up here. SCB will get the scout eventually. Cross spawn. Oh, he's going to see the Nexus trying to go down here. You're going to get in here to one gate. And he's going to see everything. Beautiful scout. Getting it past the goon is huge. Meet me halfway. That's an old song. Uh, dude, I, I live for Brahms, though. Brahms is um so great, and now I live right behind one. It's dangerous. Like, I... Brahms is the distance where it's closer to it's faster to walk than it is to drive. Like I, that, it's genuinely that close. Like I walk out of my driveway, and I could feasibly throw a rock and hit it. Not that I would ever throw a rock at Brahms, because well, Brahms is Brahms is the promised land, <laughs> the promised food. I do need to get a thing of ice cream soon, though, from them. Uh, my sweet tooth is not going to enjoy living this close to Brahms. All right. Robo coming on up here, so probably just for observers. But I mean, Seraph is a strong macro player, so I don't see him doing anything like... Uh, he just doesn't strike me as a Reaver kind of guy, right? Or at least not before Observers. It, and, well, turns out I'm right. <laughs> There's the Observatory. All right. Second machine shop coming on up here for a nice little two factory build. Tanks, we're going to have some Marines. I'm surprised we're not making more Marines. Ah, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, like, we should be making more Marines if we're going to do this kind of push. Joke's on me. He is making more Marines. Like, honestly, you go up to six or seven Marines here. Yeah. Just keep them coming. Keep the men with Gunna coming. And you can actually win with a really solid timing push. All right, so we got three gate goons. On the back of this. All right. Wait, minions. I've got an important. I got an important Brahms related question for you. How much does a bag of burgers cost? With cheese, of course. How much does a bag of burgers cost for you? Witchies. All right, we got a nice little push out here. A bunch of tanks and some marines. Oh, it's going to run right through the observer. Let's get the burgers. Get some get some nacho fries. Mm. I actually don't know if there's a Taco Bell nearby. There's a Pizza Hut, there's a Sonic, there's Brahms obviously. There's a uh, Korean barbecue place on the corner too. Uh, yeah, we got we got food. There's one thing I've got around me right now is food, and I am so happy. All right, this attack's going really poorly because he's been fighting up a ramp this whole time. But I mean, tanks are still good, believe it or not. All right, siege mode, finally coming online here. But there's just too many goons, yeah. Unfortunately, this will just not pan out for our Terran. He spent too long trying to fight up this ramp, and he lost all of his Marines to kill, like, one Dragoon. Like, that, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. And that's absolutely painful to lose that many tanks this early. So I think we could just fast forward 12 minutes and um, Seraph will have won, <laughs> right? Ah, uh, we gotta see. It. Like we like we've talked about a couple times already, right? Is that 
just because you you know you beat just because you beat your enemy doesn't mean you can kill them, right? Third CC coming up here, nice and quick. Like this could be interesting. All right, armories, more factory. And yeah, Terrence just happily macroing away with that third CC coming on up here. I'd love to see it um, be used to make some SCVs for a little bit and then flown over because he just doesn't have the tank count to really take a base here. So you use it and you make, you know, eh, five, six, seven SCVs. And by that time, you have a few more tanks. You can kind of set up along uh, the watchtower here all along it. And you can fly your CC in and be happy. Or is he just going to go immediately for it? Like an absolute crazy person. Even AK doesn't do this crazy of a, of a move out. Like, brother. All right. Protoss upgrades are coming. There's the Stargate. Where is it? Come on. What are we doing? Arbiters? Arby's? Show me the Arby's. All right, he's not going to show me the Arby's. How sad. We have the meat. <laughs> I need to destroy some Arby's right now. I'm hoping that my roommate heard me because um, I'm looking to destroy some Brahms fries right now. That'll give me the fuel I need to continue casting. At least make it through this group. A whole bag of beef and cheddars. Mmm. You know what? My favorite fast food burger that ever... Uh, like my Just generally, my favorite fast food burger that they got rid of is a Wendy's burger. Alright? It's my favorite fast food burger ever. And it was the... Um, it's the bourbon bacon burger. And it's... Um, I'd get it a triple because I'm fat as fuck, yeah. And it's, you know, you got your meat and your cheese and your meat and your cheese and your meat and your cheese. And then you have bacon and you have this like apple bacon glaze on it. It's got bourbon in it. And, oh, fuck. That was the best sandwich. And they got rid of it. And I have not been back to Wendy's since because fuck them. You, you ruined my you ruined my life, Wendy's. I'm not going back. All right, Terrence got the mineral only up at it. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good for Terrence, all things considered. You know, like that attack fumbled, but like I was saying, right? Look at this. He's immediately back in the game. He's got his third base up super quick. His supplies, like he's twenty workers ahead. Supplies are pretty competitive, which does mean that Protoss has a lot more army, but when you have tanks in mines and, well, you're playing Terran, it doesn't matter if you're down supply. You just wait for them to push into you, and then they die, and you win. And you laugh. You laugh in their face. Ha <laughs> You thought you could push into a Terran? Ha! <laughs> Idiot. I'll just talk about fast food. Has got me hungry, though. Damn it, chat. Why do you do this to me? All right. Arby's is here. Look at it. Look at the Arby's. He's got the meat, guys. The meat happens to be zealots in this case. Oh, boy, does he have a lot of meat. Wink. Oh, fuck that. I actually don't like Arby's. I My buddy works at an Arby's, so I hear all the horror stories of Arby's, so I don't like Arby's. It's, a, um, it's an unfortunate... Um, it's a little unfortunate, but it's fine because 
I my fast food will stick with um, Brahms, which I mean is fast food only by definition. Um, yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, once you notice that how something is made, you're just like instantly less interested in having it. Um, I I don't actually go to Whataburger. I am a Jack in the Box man. That's true. Whataburger does not have the. They're not known for their service, but. No, I like Jack in the Box, dude. Yeah, that's true. Like Chipotle, Kava, yeah, um, Hibachi. I could fuck with some Hibachi, bro. Where there's like, tick, 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 and they're doing these things, and you're just like, yo, dude. Have you ever like? If you ever want an experience, get like really high and then go to a hibachi place. We did that for my stepmom's birthday once. And oh boy. <laughs> they're like, they're throwing sake at you. You're watching things catch fire and you're just like, oh. <laughs> All right, the arbiters are here. Oh, blue crystal in the back line. That actually kind of helps the tanks though. Like now, like there's this little buffer that Protoss can't get through. And yeah, he's gonna get pushed back. And guys, did I not say it? Did I not say it? If you're Terran, all you do is you sit back and you wait for Protoss to push into you so they die and then you're good. You are money sign golden. Take a fourth base right now. Win a fight, take a base. Lose a fight, take a base. Come on, guys. Oh, that's cute. He built turrets, guys. He thinks that'll save him. <laughs> Who wants to tell him? Bro, you can triple your turret density and you're not stopping the recall. All right. Sending in some vultures here to check for this base. <laughs> He's like, well, shit. <laughs> the mine kills the probe. Oh, that almost worked. That was almost ca the risk I took was calculated. But boy, am I bad at math. That's what comes to mind with that moment. All right, fourth base coming on up here for Terran. Oh man. Well, he lost his barracks at some point. All right, plus two attack goons, plus two attack Terran. Recall is on the way. And we got total recall thinking away. They're like, hmm, how can we make total recall better? Hmm. What if we remade it with Protoss units? All right, all right, well, we're down. The ad agency is interested. I would love to see some depots here, just like a depot, depot, or something like that. Depot, depot. Put some tanks up in here. Also, as a complete aside, you say that it's fine if you can see the food made in front of you, and you say like, "All right, well, at least I've seen it made, right? That's fine." Argument: Subway. No one's ever fine with how Subway is, and you see them make it right in front of you. So, like, <laughs> I counter your point with Subway. It might have taken me a minute to think of it, but. Oh, the crystal of a set. Mm, that was a good crystal, actually. Oh, the God, the Protoss Horde. Guys, this, he's not playing Protoss. He's playing Zerg. This is Gateway Man at its finest. Even though he has an Arbiter. I, I It's still a Gateway Man. And, I mean, it's full ape, no matter what you think. Yep, um, CC gets killed. This CC is going to get killed. Barracks gets killed. Uh, yeah. Did he just Protoss all over the place? Dude.
<laughs> yeah, accidentally the whole. Well, I was playing for the late game, and he just died. Good old fashioned Serral quote. All right, the CC is running. Don't let it get escape and take no prisoners, comrades. Yeah, RB and the chief, unfortunately, having a bad time with the uh, missile turrets. Uh, the biggest crime that StarCraft II ever did was making, uh, putting Stukov back in because he can never be as pow- like, Stukov was actually a capable person and they couldn't have that in StarCraft II because StarCraft II has zero capable AIs. And so, like, when they put Stukov in, it's like, well, this is unfortunate because, like, he should be capable and he's not. Although he is still the most capable out of Kerrigan's advisors. It doesn't actually say much. <laughs> what? Gu guys, did, did you just see that? Guys? Guys? <coughs> did he just stop a recall? With turrets? What? <laughs> yeah, that that's just that's BM actually. I, I think that's actually BM from the Terran player. Oh no. Oh no oh my god, there's a lot of probes stacked here. Oh the soul survivor? Nope. Never mind, not the soul survivor. All right, three two versus uh three zero. Oh. All right, no 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 no. Round two, you come in from this angle or something, and just we need to send a recall into here. It's downright disrespectful that 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 um arbiter died. Uh, you just run it again. D-Web, guys. What about D-Web? We could use D-Web. Shut up, Aquaman. No one, no one cares about your D-Web. But it turns the turrets off. It's great. Then the turrets rip apart your Corsairs before you can cast it because you don't have 800 APM. And you're like, my Corsairs. All right, yeah, this is... This is toast. This man is playing Zerg. That's what she said? That actually kind of checks out, too. So yeah, that's definitely what she said. But, yeah, unfortunately, this is the... Uh, GG. Bames John tabs out. And Seraph takes the victory. Alright, what a game. <laughs> now that was actually a fun one. I enjoyed that. As much as we spent that talking about food. Dude, I, I really hope you heard me with the fries. Hey, I opened the game with a shake. I, I opened the match with one. I, I, I'm respectfully sprinkling them in there. I, I'm doing my best. I'm doing, I'm doing my part, all right? All right. All right. Let me go ahead and let's run one more game, guys. Oosh. Ads are coming in. Uh. We'll do one minute of ads. I think I'm going to cast... There's two games left. I think I'm going to cast some and then I'm going to be done. So we'll do one minute of ads. And I think that'll keep me good. We're going to find out. <laughs> eh? It's kind of more of a... More of a... Um,
something. Either Brahms is busy, or I don't think he heard me for the fries. That's fine. All right. YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you all for watching on YouTube. I appreciate you all more than Twitch. Don't let the Twitch chat know. Unless you're subbed, in which case I appreciate you more. All right. All right, we are back. All right, guys, let's run another game. I got to update the map. That's what I need to do. All right, there we are. So, fun fact. This season is going to be single-handedly why I learned how to spell apocalypse. Like, apocalypse is always just a word I have no clue how to spell. And um, yeah, I'm going to have to learn now. All right. Spawning here in the top 12 o'clock position with the magenta drone. Give it up for Killer Ace. As opponent in the lower left hand side with the red probes. Give it up for Flipendo. We're just going to go ahead and shift tab that for the um, people who struggle to see colors or are otherwise just like me and blind. All right, Overlord going the wrong way. Look at him. He doesn't care, though. He knows he's going the wrong way. Look at that. That's the face of a man who knows he's doing wrong and is like, going to keep doing it anyways. All right, what's the plan here? Flipendo. The last game we casted of him, he did go uh, gateway first and laid on some pressure. Desert tile set. Hell yeah. Where you can't choose orange. Suri auto banned every desert tile set, so that way he can only play orange. <laughs> All right. Yep, there's the gateway. So he is going to go gateway first. Uh, we do get an overpull here from Killa. All right. So that gives you a chance, right? I think. An overpool is like, all right, well, if you, if you do some shenanigans, I still have a chance. All you got to do is just not die. Easy, right? GG, easy, lol. All right, drone scout going out. All right, probe kissing a drone. Good luck out there. <laughs> All right, we are going to scout the gateway. I love this. You're going to come down here and go, mm, you're doing something shifty. Oh, 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 oh. Flipendo should leave right now. Instant leave. Just get the fuck out of this game, bro. You just lost your probe. Get out of his game. Like, this is disrespectful. Staying in is actually just rude. <laughs> All right. Ling's coming on up here. And honestly, yeah, he could just bum rush across the map and see if he can actually just win. What if I turned your rush into my rush? And what if we lived in the limelight, the universal green? Don't you wish to be wish to see? Ooh, hatches two and three coming up here. Alienation. Get on with the rest. All right, we are going to kill one of the zealots here. Nice. Oh, my God, the micro is sick. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the micro. Keeping these things as alive as long as possible. These zealots should have been long dead. But Flipendo, he said, no, thank you. I know how to micro. We went, really? A Protoss knows how to micro? And then he proved it. In Zerg fashion, we're just A-moving. <laughs> A-move, lol. Go back and macro. Oh, I mean, this is um, this is absolutely like incredible game-ending level damage. Yeah, th this is like GG right here. 
Yeah, yeah, this is GG right here. Yeah. GG. All right. All right, chat. We're going to we're going to talk about it. I we start this group and I say, "Hey, Killa, this is your group. Congrats." And he goes, "I'm like, how are you going to feel about it?" He's like, "Molding. It was so bad." Man's 2 and 0 right now in his group. There's one game left. How the fuck are you molding? <laughs> This man. There we are. Can you believe it, guys? The nerve of Twitch chat. Bro, if if I went fucking two and one in my BSL group, I would have been fine with that result. I would have been fine, just fine. I went 0 and 4, baby. Also, now that we're on the last game of the group, I'm going to update the um, this title to sh say Group C. We know what we're we know what we're doing out here. Yeah, guys, it's not looking good for the proms fries. Guys, it's not looking good. Oh no! What am I gonna, what am I gonna do without my, without my Brahms, guys? My fries. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Spawning here. In the bottom right hand side. With the orange pro drones. This man's following Suri's footsteps. Give it up for Killa Ace. Spawning here in the top left hand side. Being an absolute ProDots operator. Give it up for Serif. Opening two gates. Alright, guys. This man is Vigia Gaming. All right, so we went over pool with a hatch against two gates at home. But it is a two-player map, so the Zelts will be here pretty quickly. Yeah. Right into the action. Come on. Oh. Zelts on that fuck around find out scale, and it, he, he's fucking around, and he's about to find out. But the boys are coming to back his play. Dude, sometimes you just need the boys to back your play. A lot of hits, but like it was mostly shield damage. He was only taking 20 actual health damage. This guy still hasn't taken any health damage, and this guy is brand new. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad so far. Oh, yeah, it depends on how long we get for the shields to recharge. Which, if we're going to go home, I guess you get quite a while. Okay. Sunken coming on up here defensively. And the thing is, I would say Seraph has already got all the damage he needs out of this. Yeah. Like, it is 9 to 19 workers. So many links are out in the map now. I think, um, yeah, this is everything you needed and more. Because now we're going to have a cannon back here, too. Ooh, I, okay. Zell's out in the map is actually kind of bad. Uh, kill it. R just run in. Just run in. I if Killer runs in there, he kills, like, five, six workers. But now the Zelts are going to get back and form a defense. Form a proper stand around the cannon. Oh, that's, that, that's a hole. All in all, it's just a, another gap in the wall. We don't need no SimCity here. Burn it out. 
We don't need no mind control. Yeah. Don't mind me, I've been on a Pink Floyd kick recently. I could listen to Pink Floyd all day. Would be the opposite of a problem. Layer coming on up here along with an Evo chamber. Interesting. The Cybercore is just finishing, so that's something at least. All right, Stargate, tech of choice. Are we going to go um, Spire? Is that what we're going to do? Are we going to see some air battles? I would be very interested to see it. He has to drop a thing first. Oh, this is dangerous. This is double Stargate. Double Stargate? Yeah. Um, you're going to lose some overlords, my friend. And by some, I do mean all of them. Who's ready to watch Killa be stuck on um, two, two supply for a bit? This is this is gonna hurt, Chad. This is gonna hurt a lot. He's really trying to drone up, and I mean he's starting to recover his economy, but like, yeah, it's, this is gonna be rough. We'll see. We'll see what he can do. All right, one corsair is gonna go out here. Your overlord taking an unorthodox path back. In general, they're all just retreating, though. This one might survive. Ooh, yeah. Just barely survives. We are just going to go for the scout. Hydra Den coming on up. Spore Colony is up, so that'll provide some protection until we have a, um, until a, until we have a larger group of stairs. All right. Yep, just run through that. That's fine. Didn't hurt at all. All right. Yeah, our stair production's good. We got some zealots. I, uh, overall, I mean, yeah, we're we're doing Protoss things, guys. He's Protoss operating. He's a Protoss operator. All right, another hatch coming on up here. Hydroden Lurkers coming on up. All right, Ling's on the map get moved around here. I like this Ling patrolling here just to make sure nothing happens. It's gonna see a flock of Corsairs. So, ooh, that's all. That's a lot of them. Crikey, it's a flight. It, it's a flock of Corsairs. Crikey, you don't normally see this outside of Oya. I'm going to poke it with a stick. All right, Hydra Speed coming up here. Is that plus two carapace? Yeah, that is. A quick plus two carapace. Interesting. This might be the weirdest um, build I've seen. Um, doesn't mean it can't work, though. All right, they see the drone mining. If Seraph looked, he knows that you're trying to mine that out, so that's good. Oh, big zealot, big zealot energy in the north. Coming in on the um, east side. Just as we go to take that hatchery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Run away, Mr. Drone. All right. Lurkers will do their job of deterring Zealot from doing anything silly. All right. Corsair Zealot. Uh, what are you going to follow this up with, right? Did he get plus one air weapons? He did not. Why not? Get plus one air weapons. All right. Rule of thumb. If you build a Corsair, get plus one air weapons. 
All right. Thumbs up. <laughs> Good work. If you go double Stargate and you don't get plus one air weapons, why? <laughs> you have so many Corsairs. So this is seven, right? So you'll do seven extra damage a shot. And considering how fast the Corsairs shoot, that adds up very quickly. You're killing overlords like multiple seconds quicker. All right, hydro range coming on up here. We are just droning aggressively. Hatches four and five coming on up here. All right, bold. We're gonna send our overlords out in the map while the um, corsair flock is still out and about. Templar archives along with goon range. All right, you just don't exactly know how to get out of the sim city though. That's a problem. Mm, any observatory? All right, we do have the observatory. So we are getting observers, so we can actually start engaging into the Zerg. Just in a minute. All right, Ling's going to see some Zealot action here. And I guess he did take note earlier that the back area was being mined out, and now... Now Zerg has left himself a little bit open here. Oh, maybe he didn't realize it. Oh, no, 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 no. Lurker's getting eaten for free. Oh, God, don't push across this bridge. Not with Zealots. Ah, just check. Just check down here. All right, Protoss wants a fourth base here. Yeah. Normally, you go Zealot High Templar. He just wants Zealot. You saw the drone! Ah! Yeah. The question is, he saw it, but did he see it, you know? That's always the question. Yeah, these poor units don't know how to path out of here. It's utterly painful. All right, yeah, if you just, like, walk the Zealots into here, then A-move them, and then the High Templar come over here and just, just storm, storm, storm. Like, Zerg's got nothing. All right. Now you... Ooh, building exit's blocked. Oh, no, he did it, guys. He did it. <laughs> he done goofed. He did the big Protoss whoopsie. He locked in a gate. The old exit is blocked. To be fair, blocking a carrier spawn is um, impressively hard to do. All right, 1-1 one, one versus plus two care pace. No attack upgrades. Yeah, no, that's a skill issue, my friend. Oh, hey, he finally has realized after catching army moving this way like three times. Huh, maybe there's something over here. Or not. I think he actually hasn't realized yet. Killa is still in, like, Killa is um, up in workers, down in overall supply, but that's fine Again, in this matchup. Like, yeah, it's a bit of a gap, but also, like, Protoss can't really break you right now, so does it really matter? Sprinkling in some invisible men. We do have Hive, Spire, and Defiler Mound coming up here. We're giving crack sandwiches, peanut butter and crack sandwiches to our boys. Who doesn't love a good peanut butter and crack sandwich? Oh, 
Oh. Crack kicks in at the last second and the Ling gets the kill. I was going to say that's cracked, but like I, I feel like we're overusing the word at that point. Oh, DTs. Right. It's funny when you one-shot everything, but there's just enough to overwhelm you anyway. Lol. Get out of here. Not even good invisible men. Dude, drones are scary. <laughs> drones are scary. Alright, Proto's looking to mine this out. Alright. Corsairs dive. They will delete the Overlord. And now there's no way for Zerg to see the DTs. Classic. Classic Zerg. Oh no, this is the mother load, guys. This is the mother load of overlords. Like go go in. Just storm, storm. Oh my god. Seraph. Storm, storm, you know? And you just kinda I get that it's scary because it could be lurkers or something, but like you have the upper hand because you have detection. He doesn't. Storm, storm, you dive in the Corsairs. My friend, my friend. All right. Plague on the production tab. All right. Lots of DT. Oh, my. Now, that's a lot of DTs being mixed in with the army. They're just better zealots, guys. <laughs> that's all they are. All right. Protoss setting up to take this. This Ling is still just vibing. All right. 2-1 versus 1-2. About to be 1-3. All right, more gateways coming on up here. Another robo. Another, another robo. All right, so we're going to build hella Reavers. Reavers are fun, guys, especially in this matchup. Like, they just, they add an element of chaos that Storm just doesn't have to it. Like, Storm's cool and all, but can you... You know, Reavers can get 400 kills. High Templars can't. So I, um, I think we all know which one's better. Yeah. Nah, realistically, Reavers are Giga Chads. High Templars, they're um, they're smoking. They they hit up the um, Templar dispensary and uh, yeah they they're not ready to get 400 kills. Oh, Plagu! You said it was incoming, so I looked like in the other direction. I was like, what? I was like, uh, I was like ready to look at it, and I looked away. I was like, eh, is it over here? What do you mean? That was a solid play, Goo. Lots of red in this army now. Beep. Oh, okay, getting the stairs is nice. Beep. All right, we double plague the observers just to be sure that they're dead. Fart cloud coming down, and yeah. Protoss can't do anything to push into that. Oop, eat a high Templar. Archons are literally useless against Hydras. It's hilarious. All right, yeah. Oh my god. 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 That was the greatest thing I've ever seen as a Zerg. Guys. Guys. Oh, I could um uh, I could oh. So many High Templars died, and the one storm they dropped killed a bunch of freaking, um, killed all the observers. Oh. 
Like, how can you even be upset? Ooh, storm drops. Not sure why we made an Archon there, but cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, we're chasing down here. We're pushing in up here. There's nothing here, though. There's, like, actually nothing here. Two Hydras almost beat an Archon. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, of course, that is almost. Almost beats an Archon. Almost. Almost. Hey, he's got double the building exits to block now. All right, so quad reavers and two archons. This is the drop of a century. And an empty shuttle. All right, where are they going? Sending the skeletons, sing as the bones come marching in again. Deploy the paratroopers. Yeah, that was a drop. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a drop of all time. But at this point, Seraph is um Seraph's ahead in workers, but they're equal on supply, guys. If Zerg is up in army supply, you fucked up. You get unfucked up, hey, hey, Ron. All right. Sending the Hydras forward to eat the scarabs. Oh, that's a storm. Storm, ooh. All right. The defilers are ahead of everything. All right, we got a lot of mutas here. Big muta transition. We'll see if it gets anything done. Mutas versus archons, always a great idea. You're like, you know what? He has a lot of archons. You know what I should build? Mutas. Actually, he literally has Archon Corsair. And you want... Hmm. Mutas. Yeesh. Yeesh. Building exits blocked again. Classic. Round of goons. Yeah. I can see... Yeah, okay. This one would make you mauled a little bit. Perhaps this is the one that made him a little upset. Oh my god, Archons, man. They don't fuck around when it comes to killing mutas. This base is nothing at it. This base is basically empty. That base is basically empty. There's no drones here. I don't know where the 20 drones are because it doesn't look like we have 20. I guess. Yeah, this is, um... Kill Ace's army is basically what you see is what you get. There's... There's not going to be another army. There is just this army. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fly right over the Archons. I've done that before. You fly right over the Archons, and you're like, yeah, I've got mutas, and suddenly you don't have mutas anymore. And you're like, huh. Where did my mutas go? Pain. Pain. Oh my lord. Oh, Plague. Ah, Mutalur is good at the game. Mutalur won last season of BSL, Chobo. So, like, you know? Jobo Posho. Alright, Dirk, as long as they've got Dark Swarm, you know, there's a shot, right? Except the part where um, Storm and Scarabs don't actually care. Oh, man. The Reaver just dies. Yeah, GG is called. 
Kill Ace understands the game is over. GG's reciprocated. These are great guys. GG's. Damn. What a game. Now that was a just that was just a fun banger of a game. Alright, guys. That is all I've got for you tonight. Who do we got on? Uh, let's see here. Where, where do I land on the streamers? Alright, here. So, who do we have below? Yeah, you can take a look at those. Hmm. You know what? Let's hit up cross. All right, friends. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for thank you for enjoying some StarCraft with me, friends. I hope you all had a fantastic day. And I look forward to Thursday, guys. We're going to be doing some CPL on Thursday. We're getting back into the swing of things now that we're moved. It's going to be good. And I hope you all have a great day. See you later.